so this is me just wrapping up my Texas Dallas interview um, I almost said haul <laughs> vlog yeah it went really really well at first I honestly didn't think it was going well until up at the last round so to say um, obviously I'm not gonna tell you what airline it is you can draw conclusions for yourself I really enjoyed the experience more than other face-to-face -face interviews I've been to it was it had like this company has a very family like feel I want to say there was about 35 of us to 40 everyone was super nice um, genuine I would say genuinely nice um, from all different backgrounds. I made a couple of friends. Um, we're gonna try to stay in touch to see where we're at, who got the job, who didn't. Hopefully we all get it. I mean, all the people that I was talking to, they were honestly really, really nice. I would say the interview process was overall kind of easy. We all got there super early. I would say I got there at 11, 15, and the interview didn't start till one. So we were all just kind of talking, getting to know each other, you know, making jokes to like ease the nerves. And then they actually walked us in 45 minutes early to a room and just like kept bringing people in. I guess they were like, all right, since the majority of the people are here, like let's get started. And then as the new ones come in. Actually, the first round was a group activity. Um, I'm not gonna say what it was just because I wanna like keep the integrity of the process. You know, it's hard, I don't want, I obviously want to give you guys tips and make it a little easier, but I don't want to give it away, you know, like you have to work hard for what you want. Um, and they asked us a couple questions each and then, you know, you kind of just say what you want to say and try to keep it short and concise. What I will say in this is that they want to see that you are capable of working in a group, that you are capable of collaborating in a group. You know, just stay on your toes, be prepared for anything thoroughly think of your answer before you say it out loud even if that takes like a second like you're like because i tend my brain moves a lot faster than my mouth does so like my brain is 10 steps ahead and then gibberish comes out but when it comes to the questions there will be obviously why do you want to be a flight attendant and why you want to be a flight attendant with that company there will also be you know relocation questions customer service questions um, background questions, where you come from, stuff like that. Um, describe yourself, blah, 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 blah. And try to keep it short and sweet because there were some people that rambled and rambled and rambled and you could, everyone is nervous. They are aware of how nervous we are. Um, but you know, just try not to ramble. Try to catch yourself, be like, before I start rambling and then keep going. Be honest, be yourself, that's all I can say breathe or at least try to when they're asking you questions try not to show off as much like <laughs> obviously you're there to sell yourself you know but you don't want to come off standoffish like why are you the best fit for this position just answer the question but don't you know grab cut throat don't do that after they figure out you if or not you can work in a group and also take some action then they take you to a one-on-one -on -one type of situation not one-on-one -on -one, more like your individual interview or interview so then they ask you a couple more questions they might have you share your passport information they might have you do a reach test they might have you sit in a jump seat again might <laughs> I don't really know how many rounds there are people tend it depends like it depends on the process sometimes it's one round Sometimes it's two rounds, sometimes it's three. I've never heard it go more than three. I don't think anyone wants to go more than three, honestly. Yeah, make sure you have your passport with you. Sorry, make sure you have your IDs with you. They said they'll get back to us in seven to 10 days. They said there was about, so far, I think in the first month of applications, 35,000 applications, and they're looking to only fill 1,000 to 1,500 spots. Hopefully, I'm one of those spots because there's nothing I want more in the world than to be a flight attendant for a major US airline. Of course, before you start the application process, research, thoroughly research the companies. Why would you wanna work for them? Don't apply for a company that you don't like off the bat. It was overall a very fun experience. Hopefully, fingers crossed I hear a yes in seven to 10 days or sooner because Lord knows I've been checking my email like five, every five seconds. I know I gave it my all, and hopefully that was enough. If not, another airline has seen the value in me, so that's good. 
and they know we're like pursuing other airlines other jobs when you're applying for this so they're hiring for next year guys there are applications open for all three major u.s airlines united american and delta so if you want to apply i would say now is your chance to go and apply and just go for it good luck i hope you all get your cjos i hope i get my cj all right guys so what we've all been waiting for i've been super nervous these past I don't know how many days. I interviewed on September 16th, which was a Monday, and I didn't hear back until until the 26th, which was a Thursday. So that that is a long time to wait, like so anxiously. And they told us it could be anywhere from seven to 10 days and that they would email us. So, you know, I was literally refreshing my email like every five seconds. I was refreshing my profile. I was like, oh my God, please, I just, just in case that, updated before my email or I got an email I was lurking on those Facebook groups to see if anyone was getting their CJOs people were but they interviewed almost like a week before me so I was like all right that's not really relevant I'm like refreshing my page refreshing my page at this point you know I've been waiting for 10 days 10 days and eight business days so I've been you know like racking my nerves I like don't know what I'm doing anymore like going through every possible situation that I could have done wrong or done right and like be like yeah I got it to like no like I'm sure I didn't get it anyway so like I was saying I was lurking on my profile it updated to the 26th date and I was like oh my god I'm gonna get an email soon like and then I'm like oh my god I'm gonna get an email soon like it's gonna be a rejection I was I don't know why I feel like I felt it in my bones that like I was gonna get it so I was like I'm gonna get an email I'm gonna get an email like I was so excited just to know that I got it I don't know I I feel like I threw it into the universe a lot and like I just I knew I did everything right like I couldn't have done more I was so prepared for it like of course I was nervous but who isn't nervous so then I would say maybe not even like 10 to 20 minutes later I'm like sitting in my brother's room like telling him like we're gonna get an email soon like I don't know what it's gonna be I was texting my friends Matt and Mike that I made at the interview shout out to you guys if you're watching this you guys are the bomb like you guys are so sweet and so nice um, and I'm glad like we met and maybe we'll be in training together so so moving on I got my CJ <laughs> oh my gosh I'm so so happy so so excited you know this is like a dream of mine one of my dream airlines like I couldn't I'm over the moon like I'm so happy oh I it was such a relief I was literally dancing yeah so now I have options I can figure out what I want to do training won't be until I think Q1 or Q2 of 2020 so that's February March um, so you know I have some time to save some time to like relax be with my family maybe spend the holidays with them before the roller coaster starts it might start even sooner depending on what offer I take though so we'll see I'm just so happy with myself so proud of myself honestly like this was my first go around you know this has been my first go around for every airline I've applied to and every CJO that I've gotten and I'm so happy I must be doing something right and you know I would love to help people who are in the process of applying or thinking of applying or getting your CJOs. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments, DM me on Instagram, I'll put my link here. I'll, I mean, I'll put my link in the bottom bar and I'll also put my handle here. You know, any questions, any concerns, I'm here to help. Obviously, I'm not there yet, but anything with the process, I'm willing to help you. Obviously, I'm not gonna say what company or companies I've gotten CJOs from just because, you know, I don't know I wouldn't it just doesn't feel right to me obviously like once I get into training and everything like you'll be able to tell with the uniforms and stuff I've learned a lot more this time around than my first one and you know the processes were completely different and I'm saying and a lot I just it's a hard industry to get into and like people don't do it for the pay more of the lifestyle but like if you really want it just law of attract that just you know go for it don't give up if you think you can make sure you meet all the requirements but if you think you can just go for it hit the ground running please 
if you watched the entire video up until now make sure you give it a thumbs up leave me a little kiss emoji in the comments below I really really do appreciate it leave me some comments subscribe because it means the world to me and if you want to know I upload here and there I don't really have a set schedule right now so if you want to hit the little bell that'll also be fun for you and for me and I will see you guys in my next one thank you for watching and much love